So I've been thinking about something that you can obviously <laughs> you can obviously tell what I'm thinking about just from seeing the title right now and you've probably thought about it too at one point. I mean, considering the fact that the Universe 11 God of Destruction Belmont is actually selecting Topo as the God of Destruction, well, the next one, and he's training him instead of Jiren is is what's been sticking out to me. Why does Jiren not want to be a God of Destruction? I mean, just just why? Because he's obviously leagues above Topo himself. Because we've seen Goku overwhelm. We've seen him overwhelm. Uh, you know, Topo at certain points, and he was about to go beyond his limits with the Kaioken, and then that's when in their battle, the Grand Priest pretty much was like, nah fam, you stop that, or we're all gonna die, well, I mean, we're not all gonna die, but like, uh, he had to stop that matchup, because obviously, <laughs> someone would have gotten, I guess, well, someone was gonna die out of them too in that fight, to put it simply. Because they were all about to go out and clash and something would have happened there. Maybe the Grand Priest has a Weast like ability. Where he's able to rewind time himself. But like way more powerful of an ability. So no one there actually remembers. Um, but that's just, just a theory of mine. But basically he stopped them from fighting. And uh, if you guys don't want to be spoiled. Uh, because I do have some spoilers I'm going to talk about from. Uh, you know spoilers that I've gotten from Herms. Then, you know, click off the video or, you know, just come back after these episodes air or something, which I highly doubt you're going to do, but, you know, go ahead. And if you, if you guys that are still here are still listening, obviously, I wanted to talk about how basically Goku's Kaioken times 20 is nothing to Jiren. Literally, it's nothing. They, basically Jiren just deflects every one of Goku's attacks without much of a sweat really, he's just deflecting, dodging, he's really powerful. And then Goku does a spirit bomb with the Kaioken times 20, so I assume everyone's gonna give him their power, well from universe 7. Maybe not Frieza, I don't know, we're gonna see what Frieza does, cause Frieza right now is a wild card. He betrayed Frost to quote appear on universe Seven side, but he could just, you know, betray them at any time. You can't really trust Frieza, have you seen Frieza? Oh, I love Fraser. <laughs> He's just great. Um, so I don't know how that's going to go. But obviously, Jiren's not going to be affected. Because Gohan was able to bounce the Spirit Bomb back when he was a kid. But that's only because he was pure of heart. I mean, no, no, nobody has said anything about the Spirit Bomb not being able to damage those that get hit by it, even if they're pure of heart. So obviously, he can deflect it, but we don't know if Jiren knows that. But Jiren might be able to just deflect it through his sheer power. Um, because we've, we haven't actually really seen him even really try, because he knocked out Magikaya with just the force of his punch, like he didn't punch him, but like the, the air, the wind knocked him out, he was able to knock out a Berserk King Kale, uh, with just one blast, and everyone else is having difficulty with her, and he just like knocks her out, just, just like that, um, so... Why is he not a god of destruction? Why does he not want to become one? Well, my thoughts are he's too heroic in a way because if he if he starts destroying things, I think he wouldn't see him as dealing justice because he'd be destroying innocent people as well on those planets when, you know, because if you raise a planet, you're raising the good and the bad. So I don't think he wants to do that. I think he kind of wants to do his own thing, go around and protect people and destroy evildoers on his own. Uh... Obviously, Topo can do his own thing, but obviously, if Topo is able to become a god of destruction, why can't, you know, why can't Jiren? I honestly, to me, I think he just, he was offered it first and he turned it down, and then obviously the next strongest person to Jiren was Topo, and Topo accepted, you know, because Belmod, uh, you know, was just like, hey, you want to be a god of destruction? Because he wanted to retire for like a very long time now, so he's retiring, and... Uh, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. It's just, honestly, with Jiren, he doesn't look like he's very emotional. I think he's trying not to be in this tournament because he's trying to show his uh, teammates, you know, that he's calm and stuff. Because if you start showing fear and you're obviously the strongest or something, then the other team, like all of your other teammates are gonna be like on edge. But because he's so calm and composed, it makes Topo and, uh, 
I keep forgetting the name of the bear looking guy, the, the rabbit dude. Um, dang it. <laughs> I, f I can't believe I forgot his name. Uh, at this point, that's it. You know, them three are the strongest, and they're the only ones left right now. So, Jiren is just quiet. You know, he doesn't show emotion. He can't show annoyance. Uh, <laughs> and, I don't know, man. I just think it's just Jiren, he doesn't want to do this. He's, like, stoic. He's... I, Maybe he's got like a Superman kind of thing where he's just like, I gotta save everyone. I am the hope of this <laughs> universe or something. Because um, for, for you to be a god of destruction, you have to be... I don't know, you have to be ruthless and you have to be willing to eliminate innocence. Which I don't think is something Jiren would do. And if you look at their god of destruction and their attendant... Uh, of the God of Destruction, it's literally a giant reference to Joker and Harley Quinn. And the Pride Troopers, in a way, are like a Justice League or something? I, I don't know, man. It's, it's just how it feels. Because Jiren is just so powerful, you know? He's just leagues above everyone else. And it's kind of like they have this duality thing going on. One can't go without the other. One is saving people, the other one has to destroy the balance and all that stuff. But, I don't, I don't know. I honestly, I'm clueless. The reason why I'm really making this video is because I want to see what you guys think yourself in the comment section below. Like, why do you guys think Jiren isn't going to be the next God of Destruction? Or maybe, do you think he was a God of Destruction before? I don't think that's a possibility because Belmod was a God of Destruction for a very incredible long time. So, I don't know, man. Just, just let me know down in the... You know comment section below and if you're new to my channel subscribe and leave a rating below as it would incredibly help my channel out during these dreadful youtube times for all content creators if that, that's if you want you know it's, it's up to you if you want to come back to my channel or not but i'd appreciate it if you, you know stick around so yeah this has been it for me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later take care everybody peace